Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. I'm so my production belly sucks. I'm sorry, but it's like I get these met. I get downloads, and I have to say something about it. You know, the universe, God wants me to talk to you and just convey messages, and I'm just going to do it. Uh, today's video, this one is going to be about healthy selfishness. It's an interesting concept, and I'm I'm learning to be healthy in my selfishness but at the same time the problem is I'm so used to always being concerned about everybody and everybody for example the guy that's sitting, living in his car on the bluff by himself just sitting in his car that's his existence and I gave him food twice and I can't I don't know what I can do you know what I mean it's like and that's me projecting myself out to other people and feeling you know it's like and you can't because you can't ignore that shit I mean come on now it's it's important to <clears throat> to find space for yourself to love yourself because no nobody's gonna trust me <laughs> nobody's gonna love you like you right I have yet I'm telling you <sighs> rarely close I came close close once and she blew it but I'm gonna just put it that way because I gave her my heart and she, she didn't it wasn't that it wasn't something that she valued to the point where she was gonna it was yeah anyway but anyway but that's did I just drift son of a bitch healthy selfishness see I, that's why I hate when I get downloads and I'm like oh god I gotta do a video quick right uh, <clears throat> but most people that are doing healthy selfishness are so drained from other people taking all their juice, all their energy, all their love, that they don't have any love for themselves, man, to the point where they're not taking care of themselves properly, not bathing properly, they're not, you know what I mean, they're not looking after themselves, they're not spoiling themselves first, buy yourself a gift first, man, these women that spoil their men and treat them, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man, spoil yourself. No man should ever let a woman spoil her to that degree. You're a punk ass bitch if you let women spend money on you like that. <clears throat> I'm si I'm telling you, no, that ain't happening for me. Mm, I can my, no, I can no, no, because you know what I mean. Because you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know the guys and ladies. That I'm, you know what I'm talking about. These are motherfuckers that just are worthless pieces of shits that just that leech off women. The women are out there working their asses off three jobs, and the motherfuckers sitting at home playing video games. Smoking weed with his boys, and I ain't got a problem with weed, but I got a problem with motherfuckers that don't work for a living or give a shit or take advantage of other people's uh, generosity. <clears throat> but you, you know what I'm talking about. And there's women out there that gold diggers, they do the same damn thing, but at least they're trying to, you know, they got their duties, you know. But whatever, you know what I mean? But guys can be punks about that shit, and then they act like they're woman, they own that woman. Like, no, motherfucker. Ugh, ladies, you're an empress. Don't let some motherfucker drain you. Pardon my French. I get passionate when I'm talking about it. You know what I mean? But anyway, this is going to be a little weird video, but it is what it is. I get a little emotional when I, when I think about guys sleeping in their, people sleeping in their vehicles. That is their, that is that dude's existence. He's just sitting in there waiting to die. <sighs> it hurts my heart, man. And here I am like, oh, I'm trying to heal myself. I was so drained. I'm still drained. <clears throat> my interactions with people... It's interesting because I'm an empath and a high function, a high power. I'm a powerful, I'm badass. I know it sounds, you know, but it is. It's cool. But here's the here's the here's the power. I make you feel better. I make people happy. I can raise the mood like Jasper, you know, in Twilight. But yeah, that's basically what his ability was. He was an empath. He was able to go into a room and calm everybody the fuck down. Not only that, but you make everybody happy feel safe, feel com comfortable. You walk in the room, people are like, okay, whoo, he's here, right? That kind of, you know what I mean? Whoo, okay, now we get all relaxed. You know, the boss is here, you know, big guy's in charge, right? You know, that kind of vibe, that energy. That's the kind of energy that Empress and the Emperor has. When they walk in the room, and everybody just relaxes a little bit because they know motherfuckers got shit going on, right? Taking care of business. And, but the, at the same time, you learn to control that. I'm still learning that I even had this kind of power and energy, right? And people were draining it, and I was like, 
like I said, for a long time, I was a battery charger and dump disposal, you know, unit. So people could dump all their bullshit on me and at the same time they're charging up their battery and they walk up skipping and jumping and laughing and smiling and I'm sitting there going, what the fuck just happened? You know, that kind of thing, right? And then I have to spend days, you know, like right now, <clears throat> yesterday, I didn't do anything. I, I, was, I was so drained and I was like, what the fuck, right? And I was like, so I slept. I just slept. I needed sleep. I, I hadn't gotten good sleep. So I was, and I was being, and I was drained just by interactions and, you know, look, this nomadic lifestyle is not exactly, there's no guarantees, right? So I'm constantly mobile, constantly moving, trying to keep gas in my tank, you know, so it's kind of like a survival thing. So it's hard to kind of, you know, your sphincter gets a little tight on occasion. You know, I'm cool right now, but the point is, is, you know, it's a, it's an interesting kind of lifestyle and it's not like you don't, I don't have a set home. Where I can go to and it's a comfort zone. I have to find comfort zones in a world that's not so comfortable. But yeah, so if you're an empath, you're going to be drained a lot when you're around people, especially if you're a real giver. If you're just always concerned about everybody, you're the one in the family that's always asking about everybody else. How are they doing? Are they okay? Have you talked to them? And you know, because you give a shit. The sad part is most of those motherfuckers that you're giving a shit about don't care about you. They could give rest us. And if they do, they're just, they're so absolved in their own selfish, you know, their self bullshit that, you know, nobody else even gets a blip on the radar, right? <sighs> anyway, I'll mention two more things, or one more thing. Parents, if you have kids and you're not able to get away, and you know what I'm talking about, you're just, your responsibility is making those children bathe, everything. You're, they're, they're your world. You revolve around them. So you getting you time, me time, alone time is damn near impossible. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's a, it's a bubble bath. Just, a, just you know, just a, turning off the clock. Nobody t talk to mommy for about an hour, that kind of thing, right? Do what you got to do because you're the hero. And one more thing. The love that you get from your child, that is an energy exchange that is unconditional. Unfucking conditional Do you understand this? So in an odd way, as you charge the battery of that child, making sure they're clean and, and healthy and fed and safe, and they love you, they give you hugs and kisses, that is them giving you the energy back. So you're actually, these, ch these childs, they generate energy too, but they're very, they can be vampires just because they're, they want to know so much, they need that affirmation. And if they don't get it, they can be very draining. <clears throat> so it's, con it's important to constantly feed them that. I don't want to ramble on the different areas of this, but it's important to, for you to understand these things. You know, w when I'm dead and gone, this is be archives for somebody. Maybe you'll figure this shit out. And I'm just doing what I can to help. Hopefully it's going to be a while, though. You know, hopefully I'll make some more videos before then. We'll see what happens, right? The world's a crazy fucking place, which is why I'm on my journey. Because I said, people have lost their shit and I'm out. I'm just going to paint and do some videos and, and survive on hamburgers and see if I can't, you know. Anyway, so yeah, take some time for you. Remember your children are, they are battery chargers. They will give you what you give them. So if you love your child, you're going to get it right back, baby. So it ain't going to be, ain't going to be that tough with the kid. But if you, you know, if you ain't, you ain't doing it right and that kid's just a small brat, like one of those kids that like rolls around on the floor in the supermarket because they didn't get the candy, that kind of shit, you need to do some work. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. I'm going to let you go. This is a weird video. Protect your energy. S healthy selfishness is loving yourself and putting yourself first. But don't ignore the shit around you. You're better than that. That's why you, but that's why you need that help, healthy selfishness because you're so giving. And I love you for that. And God loves you for that. And the universe is crazy about you. I'm going to let you go. Cabin flam.